Hi, this is Tim Campbell with Action Coach of Indiana with our Business Spotlight Series. The purpose is to interview local businesses and promote them because this is a free service we're providing because when every small business is strong, then the economy is strong. And today I have the pleasure of talking with Minaz. Minaz, welcome to the program today. Thanks, Tim. Thank you so much for having me. How are you today? I am well, thank you. How about yourself? Doing great, great. Fantastic. Perfect morning. <laughs> it is beautiful out, isn't it? So, hey, let's start. Before we get into the business side, why don't you um, introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about you personally? Yes, yeah, sure. So, my name is Menas Qureshi, and um, I'm the owner of Indie Tax Service, running this firm for 15 years. I lived in Indiana majority of my life, and um, my office is located close to the airport. And uh, we've been here, you know, almost 15 years. I, you know, during tax season, we are very busy filing taxes. However, off season, I like to travel, read books, hiking, and play racquetball. This is what I like to do. Fantastic. So the get, having the extensions happen over the last couple of years has probably messed with your vacation plans, right? Right. But, you know, so far, so far, so good. You know, we're able to keep it up, you know, with our vacations and of our travelings. So far, it's not that bad. <laughs> Fantastic. So, hey, let's hear a little bit about your business. If I was to say, tell us your 60 second commercial for your business, um, how would you describe your business? Um, so we are a tax filing firm and we file taxes uh, for individual to business to nonprofits and we deal with IRS letters, notice if clients need help, anything has to do with the bookkeeping, payroll, consultation of setting up business. So this is where we come in and help our clients and we've been doing it for the last 15 years. So we are a team of accountants, consists of CPAs in our office and um, we are here, we are around to help our clients so they can come into the office, they can send us the email, they can give us a call, whichever way they prefer and we are here to help them. Fantastic. So tell us more specifically, who is it that you serve or who's your best client, um, what we call a target audience? So our target audience are those, um, because we work with a lot of foreign nationals, um, those are here on uh, special projects and they are filing taxes for the first time. So they need to understand the, um, the, the correct form to file with IRS. So we help them uh, explain that, you know, what, what is the correct form, what you need to file, the treaty between U.S. and their Pacific country, as well as, you know, any credit deductions, what they are eligible to lower their tax brackets. So these are basically majority of them we work with, as well as the business clients. We help them to set up the business entity, explain, you know, whether it should be S Corp or C Corp or partnership or, um, you know, LLC set up. So we do a lot of those consultation as well. So the business clients also, um, you know, of our uh, target audience or, or target clients who we work throughout the year. Fantastic. So um, the last year and a half has been a little crazy with COVID. So what's, what's uh, been the greatest impact that COVID has had on your business? So um, the biggest impact, I would say that all of a sudden, I still remember that, you know, I was finishing up my corporate deadline and that weekend I was told, that, okay, that, you know, what everybody has to be fully remote. So from, you know, creating an environment from uh, in office where I was doing and working with my team to check the work or do the office meetings and everything to remote and everything overnight we find out we have to put the team remotely in order to make sure our communication is going smoothly and and we still in touch with our clients so uh, that was i think was my biggest challenge because i'm kind of used to with a traditional business setting coming into the office and, and getting meetings done getting my work done and all of a sudden you know uh, this this whole remote thing so thanks to the zoom which definitely saved our life and um we were able to get our work continue and that gave me um, new experience, I would say, or, or, you know, something I learned that, okay, if business is going this way, something happened, which is pandemic, what would be the other step you have to take? And in order to make sure you're still serving your client and this is, you know, um, I kind of learned and able to maintain and able to continue. And as you can see, that's the reason we are here today. Yeah, fantastic. Good for yeah. you. So building yeah. on that a little more, so we've all had to pivot 
right? To find ways to have our business survive during the, the pandemic. And you mentioned Zoom, that may be the, the, the thing that you did, but is there a, a number one action that you took um, to pivot during the, the pandemic that's made a difference in your business over the past year? And tell us a little bit about that. So um, again, um, we had to, you know, create the remote environment and working via Zoom. I have to um, kind of, you know, as this is not a one man operation, we have accounting team. So I have to trust that, you know, uh, the, the work and, and the assignments or, or, or what we used to see each other very, you know, closely in office now is via Zoom. So we kind of have to trust on it that, hey, you know what, they're getting the work done, they're doing what they're supposed to be, and um, communication skills should be open with the client. So when they're sending us email, we should be um, make sure that, you know, we're answering it, we are calling, we are checking what they're looking for. Um, also, uh, giving them, you know, assurance that, you know what, um, though this is a very difficult time, but we are here every day for you. So you're not, you know, uh, don't want you to think, okay, what's going on? And personally, I've been coming to the office every day, you know, though it was um, the pandemic time, but I just decided, okay, the team is safe. As an owner, I have to be here to make sure the mail is coming in, I am responding and, and you know, checking things what needs to be. So that's, that's what I've been doing it. Well, thank you so much for sharing that. So mm -hmm. here's an interesting question. It's been said that uh, smart people learn from their mistakes and wise people learn from the mistakes of others. So what's a mistake you've made along the way that you'd be willing to share to help other entrepreneurs learn from your experience? Okay, so um, the, the learning. So learning never stops. This is how I look at it. And because I do not have a background of like, you know, a business mind person or, or like a salesperson, I'm just an accountant who, um, you know, just do taxes uh, all year round so um, the way I look at it though it's you know I, I definitely I made a mistake and I had to learn from it and the way I look at it is just you know learning every day for me and and how to maintain or how to create or how to solve the problem and and you know make sure the business is running we're bringing new ideas we um, still, you know, creating a new relationship and, 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 you know, still networking with the clients, still getting to understand my employees, what their needs are. And this is my focus always been on um, this learning curve that, you know what, um, this is what I, what I do. And this is what I love to do means, you know, helping other clients on their tax filing needs. So um, when it comes to learning, this is how would I describe myself that as I do not have, you know, this business mind and I, I just, you know, connect directly to people. This is what I do. And, and um, I learn from them, whether it's good or bad. And then I move on and always stay focused on, okay, you know what, in this journey, this thing's going to happen, but you know how you apply to your business to make sure that you are running and, and you, you doing what you can for your clients. That's the end result of it. Wonderful. I, I love the idea of I'm just always learning. That's I'm a, learning. That's great I'm learning, advice yeah. for everybody. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, what do you feel is going to be your biggest challenge over the next 12 months? So we already went through our tax season and the biggest challenge at that time was we were still in pandemic and we were not able to um, take the walk-ins um, because of the safety and everything. Um, so we are paperless accountants. We have our website where we ask our clients to upload and, and send information, you know, via, you know, our portals and everything. Um, so I think the biggest challenge I'm looking at is that um, because we don't have a lot of, you know, in-person communication, what we used to have, um, this is where, you know, we do see that, you know, clients sometimes don't like it because they like to see us, you know, in person and some of them left a bit strictly for this reason as they were not able to come in. Um, we would like to go out and do more networking, uh, attend more net networking events. And as you know, kind of COVID is almost or at least somewhere is over, we all vaccinated, I'd like to go and travel and start meeting my, with my business client and you know present the ideas of you know what we have and uh, what we can do to network and connect and, and make differences what they're looking for. Wonderful. Well, I appreciate your uh, your willingness to share. 
Uh, and as here's the second last question is, will we've got your contact information so that we can share that along with this video so that folks mm -hmm. um, can reach out to you. But is there anything else that you want to make sure that we cover today? Or do you have any types of offers that folks should be aware of? So um, as we are going through the off season time, this is the best time to reach us because you know our accounting team are in the office and um, we are available for any free consultation, any um, tax file review, any uh, business setup they need help, any kind of uh, um, IRS notice or any kind of notice related to taxes that they are kind of concerned of, definitely we are here to, to help them and there will be no cost. We are located here in Indianapolis close to the airport and we have a website where they can you know upload or and send us the email and our call to make an appointment we we are here every day though it's off season but our accounting team and us just you know here every day monday through friday wonderful well thank you for that offer folks will definitely want to take advantage mm -hmm. of that free consultation so and as mm -hmm. last question here tell us what's been most inspiring to you during all the craziness of the past year um so what inspiring me is every day coming to the office is that I started from my home office like you know I I graduated and I had my accounting knowledge and I know I wanted to do something um, for myself just to you know uh, keep myself busy so I started doing taxes you know and at that point I have just a small office in my home and from there I expanded to um, to here this Park Fletcher where I have this office and start um, expanding the team and building the website and building the relationship with the clients and and you know doing what I have to do to run this business at this level to uh, what um, what inspire me just you know where I started where I am today is just you know makes me motivates just makes gives me a lot of energy and gives me you know a lot of hope you know that hey you know what um just keep going and and do what you have to and keep just you know working with your clients and 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 you know what you love to do definitely is there so i i'm here answering my clients emails and 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 you know talking to my employees and and we just felt like we're making a difference, you know, for, for, our, for our clients. They, they need something. They need um, consultation. They, they, they have specific questions. They exactly know how to reach to Minas, and they just know they're going to find me here. So that's inspiring me. You know, the business is running. I love what I do. And I have, you know, great level of, you know, support from our clients that uh, who's looking out for us. Yeah, that's fantastic. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Thank you so much for sharing. So that does conclude our interview. For those listening, if you've heard something that's piqued your interest, um, as I said earlier, I'll include the contact information along with this video. So please reach out to Manaz and her team. Take advantage of the opportunity to have a free consultation, to um, have mm -hmm. them look at your, your specific situation and, and help you understand uh, ways that they could uh, work with you and, and help you improve uh, whatever thing it is that you uh, have a question about. Um, for everyone who appears on this show, we do offer a uh, complimentary coaching session as a thank you. So Naz, we'll talk about that uh, offline after the video here. It's been a pleasure learning about you and your business today, Naz, and I wish you tremendous success. Thank you, Tim. It's just, um, thank you so much. I mean, all I have to say that thank you so much for your time and reaching out to me. You're very welcome. Have a wonderful day. You too.